two one. Hey, we're live, everybody. This is two O F. Oh, just entertainment. Well, here we go. It's the man that promises you nothing and delivers. It's the veritable man motor mouth. It's Road Woods who feels the need to call himself Rob Vega. It somehow makes him feel important. Anyway, do have a listen and try not to throw up. Yeah, that's true. Try not to throw up. Try not to throw up. I Did you already throw up? So there you mm, go. What's in your <laughs> pants? <laughs> uh, it's a Great. Nice joke. Yeah, yeah, well, here. I'll be here for you. Let's How try you not to uh, think too much about that. I'm doing okay. Uh, yeah? Wow, it's been a, been, a, been a week or two. Um, it's been a fortnight, yes. Last week we couldn't get together because uh, yeah, we were taking stuff. over another small third world country and you were busy. And now uh, That's right. Uh, that's right. Uh, there you go. The world is crazy. Uh, so. It's it's just I don't know what it is. I, I sometimes think to myself, is it getting crazier, or are we just getting to that age where we see things as being crazy? I don't know. Oh, no. I mean, it's what? crazy. Is it is this a special? Do you think this is a unique uh, type of crazy in world history? Do you think so? Only, only because we have yeah. twenty four hour, seven day a week internet, global news access. So, so anytime somebody does anything dumb, or let's yeah. take something that somebody, the Orange Man said last week what camilla harris he didn't know she was black okay, yeah oh let's go with that right so if the minute he said that yeah. i get news alerts because you know investment banking we have to see what's going on the financial times the new york times the wall street Journal. i mean everybody i had news alerts going through every screen saying that right. donald trump just made this statement and i'm like all right well you know he's an idiot and then all of a sudden he made and then i read at the black um reporters caucus and I'm like, yeah. oh, okay, that's, um, we're good. That was like, but because everything is so in your face, I think that's why, it, I don't think it's been like this before. It was something stupid happened. It took three weeks to get around the world. Right. You know, right. but yep. now it's Carry like, a, it's carrier like, pigeon, whatever it was. You know, like, I'm going to tell show. you. Yeah, go ahead. You, speak, speaking of the orange man, I, yeah. I did a, because you know, I do this parody news thing on my show. Oh, the you news. do. Yeah. And I did a thing on uh, on on the Don on well I call him Ronald now Ronald Ronald Dump I don't Ronald know Dump. just whatever okay. and it's yeah. fun if, you're, if you like Trump it, it's a joke it's not right, right. please for God's sake don't take anything seriously I mean yeah. you take me seriously would be a bad idea that's but bad. Um, that's a very bad idea very bad idea. but he's fun I I I've got to say this about him though he's you can say what you like about him but he he's always in the news he's always yeah. in the news. He has a he farts and thunder happens. Seriously, that's yeah, what true. that's his that is his superpower. You it doesn't matter whether you support him or not. The right. fact is, he he creates ripples in the world media maelstrom better than anyone. Fact, he right. can say that's good true. things, stupid things, and I sometimes think to myself, you know, I, I'm I'm not sure whether he's planning on this. I saw a thing the other day which said his IQ was 145, and I went, really. Okay. No, 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 no. You missed you missed it that. It was um negative 145. Was it? I didn't see the I didn't see the minus sign, but okay, yeah. well that makes perfect sense. There you but, go. But uh no, I mean he's obviously he had that thing where he oh it was Camilla Black. I gotta say, in this part of the world, yeah, people would give two shits about that. They don't care. Correct. It doesn't matter yeah. whether you're purple, green, brown. Thank uh you. um we've we've got all flavors here, all flavors, literally, and it's fantastic because yeah. the oh food's great. Where you get diversity, you get the most amazing food. That is just yeah. a fact. That's we true. have great food here and, and very friendly people. It's the politicians who screw it all up. I will say that. that that's just what's that's that's a fact. Ordinary yeah. people around the world, uh, generally speaking, I mean, I've lived, traveled around the world just like you and other right. people that are watching have done that too. And you know, ordinary folk, generally, generally, fine, no problem. I, I get on. I can get on with anybody. What, whether you're tall, short, black, white, doesn't matter. Even right. if you speak a different language. I remember years ago being here in the Kruger National Park, which is this. I mean, people overseas think it's a big zoo. It's not. Right. It's it, it's basically double the size of Israel, and wow. it is. It that's yeah, huge. And, and people need is, a new place, apparently. So uh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> no correlation with Israel. No correlation. But anyway, I use that for reference. Okay. Um, I think it, it works something like this. You can put Connecticut mm -hmm. and two Rhode Islands into the Kruger National Park. That's pretty much how big it is. Wow. 
Wow. A reference for people who don't know geography. That's what it is. But what I want to say is um, many years ago when I was a kid, uh, younger, uh, yeah. there was a chap from, I think he was from Singapore or somewhere like that. He couldn't okay. speak a word of English, which I thought was odd for okay. someone from Singapore, but his English was zero. Okay. And my whatever they speak in Singapore was also zero. So we were there, we were in the uh, drawing circles and squares and shapes in the sand wow. at this uh, rest at this rest stop. There was a like a little a cafe and a, and a and a loo where yeah. you could stop because the distances are vast in the Kruger National Park, yeah. and you could just get a bite to eat and leak and all that sort of thing. And and there we were. We just we just met and we were talking about the animals and drawing pictures, and we managed to communicate with uh, sand and sticks. And it was the, mm. I remember always thinking that language is, is useful, but you can mm. communicate so many other ways. And he, he could have been more different from me, but it was fantastic. Mm. So he was, I'm saying that ordinary folk around the world, the big chunk, the jelly and the donut, the, 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 the normal guy, no right. problem. Generally yeah. speaking, I've found people can get on. It's these idiots, these politicians, mm -hmm and media folk that just rile shit up. And and I think, yeah, bad things happen in the world. There's there's things things going on. But I don't think we're really helping with 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 the kind of crap and commentary and dialogue that media in it's like it's like you've got you've got oil lying around and someone comes along with a with a not oil a, a gasoline or petrol and they come along with oil. a with a flame and just stir the shit up. Just that's what I'm saying. But just getting back to the orange guy. Um so we wrote a <laughs> We ran a story. I ran a story which said, um, okay, so bear in mind, this is parody. I yeah. said, um, uh, Donald Trump has now identified as orange oh, uh, wow. in a bid in a bid to capture the orange vote. You know, nice. all the people in Florida who spend lots of yeah. time in the sun, orange, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And, um, and, <laughs> and, and obviously there was some silly commentary about it. In the end, I said, perhaps he's hoping that orange is the new black. Oh, boom! I like it. So went you, well. Went went down very well. Very well. We'll tell you it's that. It's a joke. It is a freaking joke. Oh, I thought is. that was real because I was going to put that out as real <laughs> news later. But uh, okay. So I will tell you this: no, that on the be. um on mm. the call it on the cigar show we do that Riza mm. is a big Trump fan, and he asks Donnie every week to come on the show because we know he watches as well as Michael Jordan and Arnold Schwarzenegger because who doesn't watch that show? But. He doesn't come on, and we're very and, and Riz is very upset that the Orange Man won't come on the show and have a dialogue. He went on some other kids' show, um, and they gave him a cyber truck. We don't want a cyber truck. We just want him to come on. We want to ask him real. Those talk. are rubbish. Those are rubbish. Truck. Remember, oh, remember the truck when he tried to launch it? Oh my cyber god! Broke the window. Wait, I got one better. <laughs> you can't. You know how we have a car thing called CarMax here in the United States. Yes, and I bought my cars from them. Yes, I know okay. exactly who CarMax okay. is. Okay, I'm just talking for the rest of when the world. When I live there. Oh, okay. for the rest of the world, right, the yeah. Rest of the world. So CarMax, you can literally bring any POS to them, and they will buy it. You cannot bring That's... them a cyber truck because they won't buy it. Oh. In fact, there's a YouTuber, and, um, um, oh, I, I can see him. I see him in his, my mind. I saw his show on yeah. his cyber truck. He said it was the worst delivery. Um, nothing worked. It broke. It went. It literally. There was nothing. And when you close the um, the 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 engine cover, the bonnet, <laughs> it will slice a carrot because there's no sensor. And they said, just think if your fingers there, it'll slice your finger. Um, yeah. And they're Can I just say apart. this? Oh, please. Can I say this? Can I say this? <laughs> yeah. uh, is it me or does a cyber truck look like origami? Uh, I like that. No, the cyber. It truck looks. It looks like a. You know when you make those little. You know when you make those yep. little those little boats that float on the water out of origami. Very, I mean that uh, origami is amazing. The stuff, uh, they're pretty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ugly origami. If, okay. if origami was ugly, cyber then it would truck. be a cyber truck. Cyber truck. It's got these weird. It just. It doesn't even. I don't know what it is. And, I mean, it's a good. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this. Okay. I get the idea, but the execution okay. is terrible. It's it's shocking. It's I don't know quality. for a guy that's supposedly. Um, and from here, and is yeah. now there with you, and has made billions. You'd mm. think, wow, yeah. really? You looked at the cyber truck and you thought, hmm, that's a good idea. I, you would imagine he drove it, looked at it, oversaw it, saw the. I, I, mean, I don't know. Do you don't, don't think, think so? And I don't think he did squat. I think he's just like people Didn't follow he? me there because he looked as surprised as everyone else. Like, oh my god! Yeah, yeah like right. I think people just follow. <laughs> they're like Elon Musk people that are like, you know, he's a god to them. They're like, we'll buy whatever Elon does. But 
so far the Cybertruck has not got good reviews. You can't sell it. Um, just, there was a guy I, I watched. Someone sent me a video of him on TikTok, not t- Instagram, and he mm-hmm. has the funniest video yet. His oh, Cybertruck cyber truck was at 1%. Mm-hmm. And he charged it for 12 hours. And he says, you guys that buy cars with gas, he goes, huh. he goes, what do you spend 50 bucks maybe to fill your tank? And he says, I went from 1% to 57% of my Cybertruck in 12 hours. And it cost me $250 and I can drive 90 miles now. Wait, can you drive 400? Huh. And I'm on the floor because he's literally, and then like to open the thing, you have to bang the side of the truck. I mean, I'm like, what a piece of shit this is. If someone offered me a cyber truck, I'd be like, uh, you don't like me? Like you could, I could what they I take one. What um, they they, I think they went over in the US, in US dollars, somewhere between 100 and 120. If you got all the gadgets and all the crap. What? I know. This, at CarMax, they're selling them for thirty nine. Uh, when they first started to resell, thirty nine dollars. What? <laughs> thirty nine thousand. I think you can literally go online and get one for thirty nine grand if you're really desperate. Oh. Um, but yeah, they've got. We've listen. We've got the Tesla plant here, um, about five miles away. So for yes, those, you for do. Those people is is eight kilometers. But here's what's really interesting: if you drive by it, and it doesn't matter on the road on the highway on to the right side, there's a, probably a thousand cyber trucks on the right side just sitting there waiting for I don't know raccoons. The other thing I saw, which was interesting, a guy went camping and raccoons broke into his cyber truck. They thought it was a garbage can. And he literally has a picture of them trying to break in and eat and do. And I'm I was on the floor and I sent that to a friend of mine because he was contemplating on getting a cyber truck. And I'm like, this is the best. I'm like, why would you drive a garbage can? I mean, I don't, it's not pretty. I've seen them on the road. There's tons of them here because everybody, you know, blows Elon here. It's, I think, a religion. Um, and I'm like, yeah, no, it's it's okay. The first, I, I've somebody wrapped it the other day. I saw one that was wrapped the other day. Gorgeous, the wrap. It made it really look wrap. beautiful until I knew what it was. And I'm like, yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> so, so plus I'm not kind of unwrapped it and went. Well, well you know, they took that truck. silver wrap and they made it like this purplish black it was really beautiful what they did but i'm thinking okay it's still a cyber truck and then i just read yep. reports that they're saying that the the radiation that it emits they're not sure if it's harmful or not and i'm like yeah i'm gonna stick with the gas in my car i'm good <laughs> look if, if you as my grandfather used to say a fool and his money are soon parted so yes, you know true. whatever there's always somebody gonna buy that crap um i think people that are wising up which is i hope I hope. I hope. But there's enough people who bought it, so I don't, yeah. to me, it's hideous. And what, what? In what way is it a truck? Anyway, um, that's what I want to know. <laughs> How is that a truck? There's nothing truck left. It's got, like it's about got a it. bed. It's got the bed in the back. Okay, so that, that makes, makes it a truck, truck. apparently. Oh, well, what do you, okay. you can't call it the cyber SUV. It's not as sexy. Cyber truck. I don't know okay. what it is. I don't know what it is. It's just cyber BS. I don't know. It's it's cyber, yeah, I agree. It's crap. It's it totally beer. crap. Yeah. So listen, uh, what yeah. else can we chat about? There's so many things going on. Um, yeah, I, I, w- I was thinking the other day, yeah. obviously we were going to do this, and I thought, I don't want to, what I want to avoid mm. is it's so easy um, to fall down, to moan about things. Yeah. I want to try and, I thought, I've got to try next time I speak to Steve and, and, and find something positive. And and then I tried that for five seconds, and I went, no, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work. That's, that's not going to work. That's yeah, what? Show. That's <laughs> not going to work because <laughs> yeah. because people. That's the weird thing about us human beings. Um, yeah. If you print, see, this is this is the thing why why media is so it, it's so um, inflammatory and so right. disruptive because they they're doing what people want. If you printed a nice headline, everything is fine. This country is friendly. They're all living a good life. No one would buy it. They wouldn't buy that's it. True. They, they wouldn't buy it. They'd go, ah, pff, boring. Yeah, but if you if you I mean look at the little the 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 headlight the the titles that you see on YouTube videos, mm-hmm. he destroys him. This is you know this could happen. It, it's all very ooh, mm-hmm. ooh drama, and then you get there and and, it, and it's it's a it's a it's a dog chasing a cat. Yeah, well, we just could destroy that. Hey, dog, dog could do that. This yeah, fact, but that's gonna, what that's this, what it is. The title of this oh, show is Armageddon. Right. And we're going vaguely true this week's title for people. Ah, vaguely true. Vaguely true. <laughs> but, that's, but that's it. It's so, it's so, um, but the one thing I did, I thought I wanted to chat about is I met a friend of mine who's a money man and we got into the whole, this whole business of governments and how stupid they are and how rubbish they are. And, and I wanted to, I wanted to uh, suggest this to you. It's not going to happen, but it would be really useful 
in certainly in developed countries. This see, this isn't really a developed country, and it's not a developing. That's what the world doesn't understand about this country. Right. They don't understand. We're not a developing country. We are not a developing country. We are not quite. A, we kind of used to be a developed country, but that's another right. topic. Um, but so it kind of works here in a developed country. I think it would. I think it would be better if we just got rid of all the politicians and just let people who understood businesses run it. Mm -hmm. But then, then, then him and I thought, well, no businessman or woman worth anything would even contemplate that. But that's what countries need because mm -hmm. at its core, what does a country need? Money. It needs mm -hmm. jobs and money. Politicians haven't got a clue about that. Politicians right. do not create jobs. Every time I see a campaign, especially over in the US, here, the UK. Jobs, jobs. What, you are going to do it? You as a politician? <laughs> how, how the hell is a politician going to create jobs? But this is what people do. Vote this party for jobs. No, you don't get it from a politician. So who creates the jobs? Who, is the, who are the people? Who are the organizations that create the jobs? Those are the people I want running right. stuff. But then you get the oversight question and are they going to turn it into a business and what about the poor people and what about the people? Almost like a eugenic form of society. So, um, you know, the thing is, <laughs> you can't really run a country like a business. I mean, because literally you'll have 10% of everybody going and 90% of the people not cutting it and just getting cut. So right. we have these committees, these, these, these governments that... It almost, it's almost as if they are there to make sure that if shit happens, you'll be okay. That, you know, like things like, like social security and healthcare and, and whatever. Those are failing though. They haven't, the healthcare is a joke, yeah, but, literally. But, but, and but this, oh, but this is the thing. Yeah. But what I'm saying is that um, in an ideal world, it would be nice if, a, if right. a business person ran a country because you need that country to make money. Well, we, we did. We had, we had the orange man for four years. And no, man, not just you. I'm saying everybody around the oh, world. Everybody. Countries okay. need, they need to make money. This is oh, no, what funds that. everything. If you want to build a school, improve your yeah. health care, all of that, it comes down, whether you like it or not, whatever your religion or non-religion is, right. it's about money. It just is. It's not about, I'm not going to talk about worshipping money and, oh, you mustn't be. what Money is what, what do you think charities want? Money. Everybody right. wants money. Okay, fine. Let's just accept that the that the that the lifeblood of the world is money. Is money. We know that. We know yeah, that. Yeah. So you need people who can make money, who understand money, who understand businesses. Politicians do not. They do not understand money. They do not understand companies. They do not understand any of that. And yet these are the people that are in charge and make the laws that the companies have to follow. Right. It just it's 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 so it gets down to what is a government actually there for? Why do we have governments? What is a government for? What is a prime minister or a president for? What are they doing for you and I? It turns okay. out that they, they're literally serving five people that funded their campaign for about the first year. After that, it's loot freely. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I agree. The cor 100%. Corruption kicks in and whatever. Because yeah. these people are not business people. I don't own a, a vineyard because I don't, I love wine, but I don't understand it. I don't right. understand wine. I don't understand how to make or, or, or cultivate grapes. There's a lot right. to it. It's the same with a country. But what does a country need? What is What flows through its veins? Money. That's just a right. fact. You want to do anything, it all boils down to money. That's what it is. Corruption, money. Uh, uh, charity, money, all these things have got right. to do with money. So you want a money person running things. Right. But then the, 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 the comeback is, yes, but what if the money man gets greedy? I don't know. Call him no the president. Than what we have today, right? Uh, president, yeah. The politicians get greedy. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. First of all, I think AI should run the world because I think AI would just get either rid of us or make it better. And second Good of all, you know, we, mm -hmm. we have a charity here at 2OF. It's a halfway house for girls that don't go all the way. Um, so we are always looking for money. <laughs> just like, eh, I just do this for you. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> but um, why not have AI run the world? They make it, a, they shouldn't, they would make it a utopia. And if you look you at so? like Qatar and Kuwait, their poorest person owns a car because the government pays you. The government gives uh, Qataris and um, Kuwaiti citizens, mm -hmm. um, you, get a, you get a stipend, enough to live in a nice house, enough to pay yeah. your bills, and a car. 
And if you don't want to work, the government's fine. Don't break laws. We're going to support. We're going to help you. And those who want to work, work. And they get a bigger home and a bigger this and a bigger that. So there's something to be said for that kind of a utopia. And what, getting free rate, money. Right. And the crime rate, though, there is, um, yeah. is virtually zero. So you where does all this money come from? In Qatar and Kuwait, where do you think it comes from? The dead dinosaurs. Right. Well, so what yeah. if they're not, so exactly. So they plugged into a money tr a money yeah. river that they they they're on top but of. What about the funny part, but yeah. here's the funny thing? It doesn't yeah. matter. Your government a government prints listen, when we when twenty oh eight happened, the government made make believe bailouts so investment bankers could get huge bonuses a year later for something they screwed up, right? Mm. The government can print whatever they want. Mm -hmm. When it says all our do our dollar used to be backed by gold, now it's just backed by the good faith of the United States government. Well, if you're just going to believe in a fairy tale, then you can print whatever you want. I mean, literally tomorrow I could become president and go, you know what? Everybody's now going to make $250,000 a year. We're going to clean up all the cities. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. We're not going to have tariffs on Chinese products or any other products. We're going to do free trade. We're going to do all this crap. And within four years, the country should be perfect. Because there would be, get rid of all this bureaucracy bullshit, like, I want to build a road. No, you just build the road. Clean this up. Do that. And what's funny is, as much as people make fun of Texas, Texas has literally gotten away, got rid of tons of things. Um, so if you have a business and you come here, it's literally yep. like a speedy process. It's like, oh, you want to build a 75,000-story building? Sure. I mean, like, it's boom, 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 boom. Now. They don't have the people to like make sure it's built right, but eh, don't worry about that. Um, so they, you know, think, and so it's a much different mentality here because they understand to have progress, you have to make it easy. Where countries make progress very difficult unless you're writing someone a check. So that's what I'm so, saying. If if you go with a different mentality, it would work. I think. I don't know. So the, then the question arises: yeah. Why have we got so much bureaucracy? How did oh, we get because, to the point? How did we get to the point where we're yeah. voting for people who right. totally overregulate our lives, um, um, draft meaningless bill after bill after right. bill after bill, uh, and and then we just continue to vote for those same people again? We just sit and take it. So we end up with these mountains of bureaucracy and say, "Oh, there's so much paperwork." But we yeah. hired these people. Yeah. We voted for them. Yeah. So what's going on? What is going on? And then it gets back to the couple of weeks ago and I said, it's because you've got every Tom, Dick and Sally voting. And I'm yeah. not convinced you're not going to stop it. But I'm not sure that everybody is really knowledgeable about the vote. About, uh, about what are we doing? We're hiring people to run our lives. That's right. what we're doing. Right. And are we in a position to know how to hire people? Do we know how to find the right person? Do we have the knowledge? Do we have the experience? Do we have the understanding? to make the correct decision about which person we're going to hire to run not just our lives, but our neighbors and our community right. and, our, and our area. Do we? Honestly, do we? Do we know enough about them? No, we freaking don't. We get all wrapped up in uh, social media posts about their stance on this and that. Who gives a shit? What does it matter whether a person is... Uh, look, we all have our own views, but the, the person who is supposed to be delivering things for you, the practical right. things, healthcare. Right, right. Uh, security, whatever it is, ways for your business to grow. Do you give a shit whether they're pro or, or anti-abortion? What does it matter to you? Right. What does it matter to what they're going to do for you? If their personal situation starts to impact your choices, that's a different matter. But just keep your personal shit to yourself and do your damn job. Do right. your damn job. We hired you to run the country. We want to make money. Businesses need this. Uh, we need to build that school. We need to build that road, like you said, in Texas. Um this guy's got a business. Can you just get that set up for him? Shh, no, we hired you. Shut up. We don't want this paperwork. Do what we tell you. Do what we tell you. That's it. I don't care what your religion is, whether you this, whether you for guns, against guns. It doesn't matter. Take that shit off the table. You don't get to decide that. Fuck you. This is about our lives, and you do what we tell you. But this is what's gone wrong. We've got these... Uh, we don't have politicians anymore. We've got even the term leader, I have a problem with. These are not leaders. They're supposed to be civil servants. And the top civil servant is the president or the prime minister. He's not a leader. I hate right. that word. Uh, 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 Biden or Trump or whoever the hell's next in the US, they work for you. They work right. for you. You are their boss. How is he your leader? American leader. Bullshit. Uh, South African leader. Bullshit. British leader. You're not a leader. We don't. That's not. That is. That to me is the fundamental problem. 
and they get these big heads about themselves and we're going to do this and I'm going to change it. I'm going to build a wall, do that. You're not going to build a fucking wall. You're not. You're not going to do it. A business is going to do it. People with money will pay someone to do it. Is it coming from you? No, it's not. So shut up and do what we tell you. That's, that's the problem with this. We've well, got all the these thing. narcissistic right. bureaucrats right. running the world and they have no idea what the hell they're doing. And we vote for them. Well, no, we don't. I, who I vote is. Well, anyway, um, but here's a conspiracy theory then. Then you look at. The yeah, I love conspiracies. Yeah, bring it. Oh, this, is a good, this is a good thing. Bilderbergs, right? And the Bilderbergs and the Illuminati and the lizard people, you know, the clubs I belong to for fun and support. Yeah. Um, the job really is, is to keep the, the people down. All eight billion of you keep you down, keep you confused. And then at some point have, if you will, this one world, whatever it is, and tell you it's for your own good. And because people are drones and ostriches and they stick their head in the sand, that's what happens. They don't care because people are like, oh, the government tells me it's good for me. The government can't wipe its own ass. And I agree with you. Leaders work for us. The mayor of a city yeah. works for the people yeah. in the city. The president of He's the United States, or the president of the country. Right. Unless yeah. you're the king or queen of like Thailand, where it's your country, literally, then that's a different story. So then I don't, you don't work for anybody. You're the king of Thailand. And I'll, go, I'll go with that. Or Norway or Sweden or wherever they have their monarchs still. But if you're voted into office, you work for the people. And if the yes. people tell you, get the fuck out, get the fuck yes. out. Yeah. But that's the problem. We we don't do that. We all look at like, oh, they're no, they are to your point. They're just civil servants. And yeah. we have gotten so indoctrinated with, oh, they're the lead. No, they're not. They're just no, a they're human not. being that we mm -hmm. put into in power. But if we don't like what you're doing, it's time for you to leave. So these that's why I like the way the British do it. It's and even in France, it's like the, the head of your the country is like, no, I'm not doing a good job. We should call an election. Could you, in, the, in America, we'd be calling an election, of course, every other day, which is so cool. Um, so we have to do this four-year thing, but, you know. It is, it, is, it is strange that, I mean, if you look at the history of America, which is fairly young compared to Europe, um, and, and most of the people that went there in the beginning mm -hmm. uh, wanted to get away from all. This is the weird thing. They wanted to get away from that bureaucracy, get away yeah. from that tyranny. They wanted to create this almost, and it is that. It, it's almost an administration, a government system which is combative in nature. It is. Right. Uh, it nobody has. There's no nobody is a king. Nobody is all powerful. So that is that is bullshit. So right. a president actually, if you look at what a president can and can't do, there's not a hell of a lot he or she can do. Not really. Right. But it's yeah. designed like that to prevent kings. That's what Washington and all these people got away from. I mean, even Washington when he left warned about all these political parties because it's going to take you right back to all that European crap that we and got away from. And right. you're going to become tribal, and it's going to be more about the party than the people, and that's exactly what happened when he left office. Uh, I'm paraphrasing, but it, it, it's quite an it's quite an amazing speech, and he was quite a young man when he wrote it. When he wrote that, um, I mean, he, he literally was looking into the future. If yeah. they had if they had done what he suggested, even and uh, uh, acknowledged what he was about, I'm not saying he was a perfect human being. He had he did some dodgy things, but who gives a shit? Who doesn't do dodgy mm -hmm. things? But what he said in that speech is amazing. But it, amazing, it, it's it's true. You want to get away from this tribalist crap, and that is exactly what we have now, almost mm -hmm. all around the world, particularly so in the U.S. Because what amazes me is, I remember the first time when I went to the U.S., I was in a Walmart. Uh, I was I, I landed in Miami. I drove across to Naples. I'd never been to the country before. Right. I, I was going to meet someone. This is a true story. I arrived in Miami. This is the mid '90s, mm -hmm. and I. Uh, contacted uh, an immigration attorney fellow in Oklahoma. And I said to him, I'll land in Miami and I'll drive. I'll just have an adventure. And that is exactly <laughs> what, I, and that's exactly what I did. I landed yeah. in Miami. I yeah. figured I looked on the map and I thought, wow, the place was, first of all, was bigger than I realized. Oh, yeah, so yeah. that, that far on the map was, whoa. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that should take me an hour, four hours, you know? Yeah. And, and it, it was, it was quite an amazing thing. Um, the people were great. I remember, I went into a Walmart, had a bit of a sniffle, and I remember I went into the they had like a, a, a medicine drugs aisle, whatever, yeah. and it flipped and it flipped and went on long. It was the longest thing I'd ever seen. There was every known cold remedy to every yeah. remedy known to man, and I just stood there and I looked at it. And the next thing there was a guy who stood next to me says, "Hey man, you can can I help you?" And I went, "What." What do I pick? And he says, yeah, there's a lot of choices, right? And I said, yes, just give me the one that fixes the cold. Well, right. blah, blah, blah. no, 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 Shh, no, uh, just <laughs> give me, just point me to something because I'll right. be here all day. 
So my point is that my first experience with the country in real life uh, was choices, 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 choices. So lots of choices. And it is like that. America's got lots of choices, 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 except for politics, right. except for politics. You would think that po the, polit the political system would reflect society, but it doesn't. I mean, if, if, the, if Washington reflected what American society was, and I don't mean to pretend to be an expert, I'm, I have a healthy interest in the country, I've lived there, uh, you would have like a gazillion parties. You'd have, you'd have right. choices, and you'd have four or five that were the main contenders. And right. you could choose, and you could mix and match and, 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 and get rid of, but you've literally got two parties. And this is as an outsider. Now this is when I step outside the circle of trust and look back yeah. in America, and I go, you do realize there's not an awful lot of difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. Not really. As an outsider, right. I look at it and I go, you're basically they're the same party with a few little different things on, you know, maybe a few different points of view with business and whatever. But I mean, the Republicans were the people that freed the slaves. The Democrats right. used to be what the Republicans are. So right. my point is, yes, parties change, but these two parties are relatively similar. In any other country, there would almost be a coalition. They would be the same party. But in America, you've literally got these two parties that are almost the same, believing they are diametrically opposed. They literally are not. They yeah. just are not. Uh, and yet, those are your choices. Th yeah. Those are your choices. If you want, if for example, if you wanted um, a party that was about small government, then that should be everything. That should be right. uh, personal, uh, business, and so on. But you've got the Republican Party, I'm going to just pick on them for a minute, who are um, obviously um, pro-guns. That's fine. Right. I, I get that. Pro guns, don't take away our guns. No problem. Yeah. Guns, it's guns. Uh, people that kill people, not the guns. I get it. Right. Responsible gun owner, power to you. That's fine. <clears throat> no one's saying take away guns. So they're pro, don't take away my guns. Right. Mm. But then don't take away my right to choose whether I want a kid or not. It's the right. same thing. It's the identical thing. Get out of my house. Get out of my personal shit. Get out of my armory where I keep my mm -hmm. guns. And get out of my my family situation where my wife and I need to plan our own family. What the hell's got to do with you? They are the same thing. They are the same thing. So they, they, if you pro, if you pro uh, personal liberty and you are anti big government, what party do you vote for? Right. What party yeah. do you vote for? You don't, you, you, you don't, don't have one. Right. Cause you've got the Democrat, you got the democratic party who, right. uh, uh, in a simple fashion are yeah. pro abortion. That's that's what seems to be the case, and the Republicans yeah, yeah. are, by and large, are anti. Yeah. Would that be a fair comment? Would that so be far. fair? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. but then with the gun thing, it's the other way around. So, right. what if you were a guy who doesn't want people interfering with his life? Which I mean, there's so many levels and yeah. varieties we could and topics we could discuss, but just on a simple personal issue like that, which one do you choose? You don't. And and and. and I mean, there's some things about the Republican Party which I agree with. They are very pro-business. I like their stance on that. Personally, as an outsider, I don't get to vote. That's your problem. But I look at it and go, yeah, I get it. They're about growing business. I don't have a problem uh, not overtaxing people who create jobs. Let them create jobs, right? right. But then, so, so, so they're pro-business. But then they've got other things which are weird. They, they want to push uh, uh, religious things. But sorry, oh, yeah. didn't we just say... You're going to get out of my armory, mm -hmm. but you get it, get it. What is that? And the constitution, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, and I sure. probably am, but I'm okay. pretty sure when, when the founding fathers of, of, of the United States uh, figured out what they, all the things they figured out, they said, right, um, religion mm -hmm. and the state separate. They, they, yeah, church and state. Yeah, they're not supposed to be the state. same. They right. have to be different. They yeah. have to be different because yeah. that's linked to personal liberty, which right. is what the country was about. We don't want kings. We don't want that. Look, you can you can practice whatever belief you want, but it's not going to be part of of the modus oper operandi of the government. Correct. It's got to be spoke, because then you just exclude all sorts of people. So just we, take it off the table. Take it off the we table. Still, we still swear them but, in with the Bible. Well, fine, but well, no, not, no. whatever. But what no, I'm saying no, is, what no. I'm saying is, it's confusing. It's very confusing when you look right. at the country and you go, "Are you? What are you? Are you pro-choice? Are you anti-choice? Are you pro this? Which is it?" So if you're, a, let me let me describe uh, Joe Joe Soap, the ordinary voter. So he's a yeah. he's um he wants 
him and his wife will decide when they're going to have a baby. Mistakes yeah. happen. Uh, unless you are paying for his child to be brought up, that's not your, it's not your purview. You can right. disagree with abortion. My wife and I, for instance, when we when we were dating and then we got married, abortion wasn't for us, not right. for us. We yeah. would never have aborted, no matter what happened. But Steve, that's got nothing to do with my neighbor and his wife. Right. I don't have to agree with it, but I don't get to decide what they're going to do. This I is agree. called personal liberty. Right, right, so there's that. So I'm a guy who's, let's say I'm anti-abortion, and then I'm pro-gun, and I'm an atheist. So okay. which part did you want to vote for? Satan. Which one? Huh? <laughs> Satanism. The Satan part. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying is you don't have enough choice. We've right. got oh, too much choice. We've got too much choice here right. because they... Uh, it's all over the place, but it's very difficult to find a party that aligns entirely with you, but you can kind of get there. But if you're in the U S what do you, what do you vote for? If you're that guy or that woman, what do you well, do? Vote, you like, vote, you like guns. Let me see. You like guns right. and you would like to decide what to do with your body. Your vote doesn't count here. So it doesn't matter. I mean, it Which counts at the local, but uh, nobody, because if you're voting for the president, it's a waste of your time. The electoral college is going to pick whoever they're going to pick. Voting for your local politician, yeah, it's fine. Or your senator, your congressman, they're idiots. So who really cares? That's the problem. It's like I, you have to respect who's running. You need more choice. Other than you need more Harris choice now. Yeah, you need well, more choice. I don't. You know what the problem in America is? I don't think if you gave them more choice, it would help. Until you get to where well, the populist picks, not the electoral college, voting is a joke. Let's just be blunt. It's a joke. It's, okay. you know, it's just I like oh, so I'm going to vote. My vote means absolutely nothing because 50 old men in a room that circle jerk each other are going to, you know, give an electoral college vote for whoever they think they should give it to, not who we tell them to give it to. So who cares? It's, let me let me get this straight. Let me get this straight because um, yeah. I'm I'm also I haven't. This is something I'm not completely familiar with. Um, okay. I sort of know. Okay. Each state obviously has the number. They have electoral college. College, right. College, right, right. Depending on the size of your population, you get more, more uh, or less, what, yeah, yeah. more sure. delegates. What is it? Delegates, delegates, or votes? delegates. Yep, delegate testings. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they, they're encouraged to follow yeah. the 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 tone of their state, but they don't have to. Correct. So if if let's say for example uh, in Texas, yeah. uh, by some sheer whatever, the 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 voters in the state voted blue. They won't, but let's just say they did. Yeah. And you, you and, but the guy, the, the people that you had nominated went, I don't know. I think we're yeah. just going to go with, we're going to go with the Republican Party. Yeah. And they, they'd be perfectly entitled to do that. Correct. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Voting is a joke. And do like they I usually, said, they don't usually do that, though, do they? 90%, 99% of the time, they go with what the state wants you to go with, right? Um, I, in this coming election, I have no idea how this is going to pan itself out. This is going to be the, the it's fun. The, the, it's the, fun. The, the, the oh. Mad Hatter Chief yeah. Pride. Yeah, this is going to be oh. awesome. I'm looking forward to this one. So, but this one now because of uh, Kamala Harris, um, yep. I think is going to be really interesting. She's keep she's calling. She called Trump out. She's like, I'm ready to debate you. He doesn't want to debate her. Um, he's canceled the ABC debate. He's I heard claiming he wants that to do they yeah, he, he he won't. He doesn't want to do. He's a he, the economist. I just read an article this morning. Even the Financial Times is saying the New York Times. Everybody, he's scared of her um, because she's not Joe Biden. Which I mean, apparently, because she's female, so people can very clearly, um, very clearly. I'm yeah, not to figure that one out. Yeah, I no was like the minute they said yeah, she's not Joe Biden, right. I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, she's a girl. I know, I can tell. Um, but he's. They're saying he's fair. And, you know, remember, the Democrats were down by 20 points. They are now tied. They are, like, I think the polls, let's just go, it's 48 point whatever to 48 point whatever. They are okay, neck I, and neck, and, she, and she's made tons of money. Go ahead. Can I stir the pot? I'm going to stir Please the pot stir because okay. there's one thing that I personally don't like, and I bet there's lots of people who don't like this. I don't like it when someone who's not necessarily from my neck of the woods yeah. Uh, issues, issues a strong opinion about my neck of the woods. Okay. <laughs> but I, I like to think, um, we've had this conversation, I like to think that I am I have a healthy interest in most countries around the world. I've lived in a lot. 
Uh, it does, does it make me an expert? No. But I reckon I've been to more states in the U.S. than most Americans have. Uh, it's 32, by the way. And, and not just passing through. I've actually stayed and chatted to locals because I made it my business. And that's when I realized that's, um, that's when I realized you have there's there's 50 states and they literally are states they're countries they, they and there's yeah. nothing united about them uh, right. which is quite interesting even even the snow chain laws and the tire laws are all different and you've yeah. got to make sure yeah. that you're not on the side of the virgin like some once st some of the states if you pull over onto the shoulder of the road at night you can be arrested others yeah. they'll bring you a coffee I don't know it's all it's all very it's all very weird yeah. they're literally little colonies little 50 colonies. Mm -hmm. Which I, actually, yeah. but having said that, I kind of like that. It, it's as a as someone who's just passing through. It's great. You hear different accents, different points of view. The people kind of yeah. look different. They they they're fine. Um, yeah. But I, I have to say, um, at some point, they're going to have to learn how to pronounce Kamala Harris's name. Yeah, I just call her Miss Harris. I'm good with that. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll be the president, so I can just go, Miss M Madam President, and but, you're not like she's a madam, but I mean, because she could be a madam, but Madam President, and then she's there, and she can have a like a brothel, I guess, as a side job. I don't know how that works, but yeah, I think that's the but, technical term for her, Madam President. But I mean, what I want to say is uh, the reason why I think, and I'm going to just offer a theory. You can tell me if I'm talking nonsense. I probably am. Um, the reason why I think the Democrats are down and why they tied. This is my yeah. take. Okay. Is from what I've seen of people yeah. who are who support Trump, yeah, they they are. I, I would I would hazard a guess and say they are much more loyal. They are very loyal. They are committed co and committed. Like the, re the, real just kidding. the real mega, the real mega people are. Yes, no, but yeah. but I know I know people. I and, and and don't joke. I've got well joke. I've got friends there who are uh, one of the guys that I'm. Believe it or not, I'm good mates with him. He is a uh, he's he's a he's a he's a he's, he loves Donald Trump. He loves him um, because he thinks he thinks he thinks uh, and I'm power to him. He thinks he's good for business. Wait, wait a minute. He said it's not that he likes him. He thinks that he's the best choice, and he gives very solid reasons. And okay, I go, okay fair, fair enough. And right. and the reason that the reason that he gave, we might go a bit longer than this. But the reason he gave is because he said the thing about Trump and and. See what you think about this. This is from a yeah. man who is an is is a intelligent man. He's got a college degree. Yeah. He's got two businesses, and he's quite wealthy. And he lives in a blue state. Okay, I'm not okay. going to mention his name because I don't want people to go and uh, paintball his house. So, okay. or, or was a toilet bomb? I can't remember. Uh, so he, he, um, he yeah. says he said the thing about Trump, why he likes Trump, and you must listen to things like this if you want. If you, it's important to listen. He said the reason why he likes Trump is because. He says Trump isn't a politician, and he doesn't really know. Excuse me, what the hell he's doing? And I went, "Oh, you're not selling it." And he says, "No, but that's the point. He 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 doesn't understand what he can do, so he doesn't do much." And he said, "As a businessman, that's what he wants. He doesn't want. I swear to God, that's what he said. He doesn't want. He doesn't want uh, an all-powerful narcissistic politician. I know what you're thinking. Donald Trump is a narcissist. That. Yeah. But but what he's saying is that." He's he's in a he's in a he's in a system, the a political system of Washington, which is way too complicated for him. He doesn't understand actually what he can do. He doesn't understand how to he understands social media, but he right. doesn't understand. I'm not saying I do, I'm not saying he does, I'm not saying anybody does, but he doesn't understand just what he can do. He's not a he's not a Washington player. And he says, that's why I like him, because he doesn't he doesn't fiddle in the kitchen where he doesn't know what the hell he's cooking. He just he doesn't even realize how powerless he actually is. So as a businessman, yeah. he wants that. He doesn't want he wants a politician to get out the way, kind of like what we said, to right. work for people. And and it's an interesting logic because I don't know if he's wrong. I don't know if he's right. <coughs> Excuse me. People will have their own opinions. Yeah. But that's what a Trump man said to me. And he's not a MAGA guy. He doesn't go to the rallies. He's an ordinary bloke. Who doesn't he doesn't have a much of a social media presence? He's a quiet businessman. He does very well. He does very well. He's smart. And he said, I don't want a politician. This is why he says, I don't want a Biden. I don't want a Bernie Sanders. That's what he said to me. Mm -hmm. Because he said, those guys fiddle in stuff they don't know anything about. Right. That's what he said to me. He said, I don't necessarily like Trump, but right. I, I like the fact that he doesn't, he's not standing there in the kitchen with me. He's yeah, out of the way. And I'm just, I'm just, no, 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 Steve, no, no problem. I am giving you the opinion of someone okay. who does support Trump, and it's, and, 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 whether you disagree or not, or agree or not, 
That's the point he's making. That's what a lot of people are saying. So you don't look at the MAGA people. You don't look at, because they're a very small part. There's still 70 odd million people who just sit in their homes and go, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. And this is why, because I, I don't want my life interfered with. They may be right. They may be wrong. All politicians are bullshit. That's a fact. That's true. But that's what they want. They want someone who isn't overly involved in their personal like. situation. That's, oh, that. that's, that's what a lot of people say to me. I'm All just right. saying. That's what they and want. That's how we're going to leave the show today. Because, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Wow. So it was good to see everybody this week. We'll, we'll be back next week on his show. So you can catch it here every Sunday morning. And you can catch the podcast on Sunday mornings on the two old farts making noises. Or you can catch us on YouTube if you want to see our faces. Don't forget to subscribe and like. I'm sure we're going to turn the pot. I think we're just going to call this show politics in armageddon and we're gonna have a big explosion and have people come in and not even write a description and can i can I, views. can I just say no facts were harmed in the making of this uh, production well you know you never know how that goes so, <laughs> and remember support your local halfway houses for girls that don't go all the way see everybody next week wow, wow. <laughs> bye <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to this Harold Woods, Rob Vega, whatever the hell he wants to call himself, fellow. You know, this this podcast thing, it, it makes him feel very important and he's a difficult fellow as it is to deal with. So thank you so much for putting up with him and, and do take care. <laughs> <laughs>